everybody welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video so I'm trying not to have glare on my glasses but it never works so um welcome back to another video this is gonna be a grocery haul and I am in my car because I am at the grocery store now normally I would have bunches of kids and we would be on our way to Taekwondo and all of the things but Jackson is sick so we are not going to Taekwondo we haven't been all week and we will not go until Friday because Friday is belt testing. But for the first time in almost three years, neither one of my children will be testing. Alana is on a six month uh, between red belt and black belt. They cannot test for six months. And then Jackson is already a first degree black belt and he won't test for second degree for almost another year. So neither one of them are testing. But Jackson is sick. He went to, he had an allergy appointment about two weeks ago. And um, his doctor was looking, because he had a stuffy nose and it was running. And doctor was looking in there just to make sure, because he is now on maintenance with his um, allergy shots, that the shots were working and being effective. And so he looked in his nose and everything. He said, well, he said, I think it's just a cold and it's not allergy related. I said, well, that's fine. Usually he gets a cold. He says, well, how's his asthma? I said, he's okay for now. Um, we haven't had any problems. He said, well, okay, just watch him. So watched him, watched him, watched him. Last week he didn't feel good. We went to Taekwondo a couple days, but you could tell he just didn't feel good. And then Monday night, both the kids, they were in bed like at five o'clock. And that is just not, typical of my children they do not go to bed at five o'clock um but he just didn't feel well so yesterday which was Tuesday I said if you're not feeling better by the morning I'm gonna take you to doctor and he came into my room it was close to 11 a lot and I was still working on algebra and he said mom I just came to see if you had any more medicine because I'm not feeling good and so with his asthma you know he doesn't have flares really bad he once once or twice a year now is um good for uh, i mean it's it's excellent it means his asthma is under control but he gets um he's not constricting because i can tell constrict anyway i am doing a long story about this grocery haul um anyway not constricting so i took him to the doctor this morning i actually went to work got off work uh, somebody covered a class for me and then i actually end up going back but he is tight so he's not moving air real well and um so we got him on the steroid she did go ahead and put him on an antibiotic and then a double treatment for his albuterol so he has a nebulizer at home so he did a double treatment he did one this morning and then he did a double treatment right after we left the doctor so i got back to work about 12 15. it is now 3 15 and i am at the grocery store so kind of another long story I have I had $40 well I had $30 for this week because I had to spend some extra money the other day out of my grocery budget I didn't spend out of my checking account just took it out of my grocery budget because I need some almond flour so I took a little bit out of each week so I can get the almond flour because almond flour is just expensive unless you get it at Sam's or Costco and I wasn't going to Sam's or Costco I just went to Walmart so um, last week at my church before we moved buildings I used to be the pantry coordinator for our food pantry and so most people know me as that individual well when we moved we no longer had the pantry and it was just an inside pantry it was for people it was for um, family members in our church who were on a hard time so I was at work the other day and I got a phone call from an individual and they said um, I wanted to know if you know there was a way I could get some help um, because I need some food I don't have any food and so I verified all of that information and because we don't have the pantry anymore we didn't have any stores to pull from I have my own individual home pantry that I have had for the, since we left uh, that church building and used to we would have some ready cash and then we would have some grocery store gift cards, Walmart, Food Line, you know, different places. Just, you know, 5 or $10 or $20, just depending on what people would donate. So, um, they said, um, I need some food. So, I said, well, let me meet you somewhere. We just agreed upon a location to meet. And I said, well, I'll bring you something over. 
So I didn't have any of those things that I would normally have from the church. So a couple weeks ago, I bought a couple gift cards that I was saving for the summertime. So I took one of those gift cards and I still have one. And I had about a few dollars worth of cash. It was about $7 of cash in my wallet. Pulled that out might have been grocery money because um, they had mentioned not having any gas either so and then I had a couple of um, coupons from uh, McDonald's for free sandwich and a, you know free sandwiches a couple some some things like that so I took all that met them gave them to the individual so that kind of took away some of my groceries and then of course I ended up getting the, the almond flour and all that so I was less in groceries so a friend of mine um, came over the other day and when I tell you, you know, and I, I say this a lot and I know people might get tired of me saying it, but this is, I'm going to say what I want to say anyway, um, because this is the basis of who I, this is who I am. So she just, she reaches into her wallet and she's pulling out wads of bills and I'm just standing there going, what is happening you know what is happening <laughs> and she's just pulling out pulling out pulling out anyway the money that I ended up giving in the gift card and the few dollars for the gas the Lord made sure to give back to me and my children so I had $30 for this week to spend and now I have $55 and I also have enough money to get gas for my car because I have to take a, a trip for my college. So I have to drive a couple hours for our community service project. So I have enough money to get a full tank of gas and then enough to add to the grocery budget. So instead of having $30 for my grocery budget this week, I have $55 and I am going to shop at three stores. Normally I only shop at one and I might hit Walmart if I need to. But this week, because I have the um, extra $25 I am going to go to three stores so I had my original grocery list here from my Curio meal planner and then I asked the kids actually what would they like for dinners this week and so they gave me a list of dinners they wanted and then I said okay let me look at the grocery list that the kids helped me make and then I broke that grocery list down into three stores so this week I have a small list for um, Harris Teeter and I have $25 allocated for that. I have a small list for Walmart. I have $15 allocated for that and then I found as a printable this ultimate grocery list from Aldi and I went ahead and made some markings on this and I have $15 for Aldi. I'm hoping to come under $25 here at Harris Teeter so I can have a few more dollars for Aldi because I do want to get some fresh veggies and stuff. But anywho, I'm going to jump into uh, Harris Teeter and see what I can get. I'm sticking to the list. I do have some coupons, so we'll see if I can get any deals there. But I'm going to go into Harris Teeter. Then I'm going to jump into Walmart and Aldi on my way home. They're relatively close to each other. And then I'm going home to get in the bed because mom doesn't feel well now. So anywho, just thought I would update you guys. And I'm going to share with you our grocery haul. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm back from the grocery store. I went to three separate grocery stores. So here are my three receipts. I still have chicken broth going. Probably going to cut that off very soon. It does smell yummy, though. But I went to Aldi, Walmart, and then my Harris Teeter. So this is Harris Teeter right here. This is Aldi. And then this is what I got from Walmart minus a, a case of water. So let me start with Harris Teeter. So we needed some basic things. And I took a uh, grocery list with me. And then I actually added on a few things. Alana called for a few things. So I actually had $25 to spend at Harris Teeter. And I went over by about $7. And really, the overage came here with the meat because um, yellow tags, and I am kind of, I'm one of those like Shelly from Shelly's Home Life. If I see a yellow tag and it's a good deal, I'm going to get the meat because this original price was $12.15. I got it for $3.62, and then I got another one for $3.74. And the kids have been asking for Mississippi Rose. And I know this is Boston butt steak, but I use the same ingredients to make that. Or I can fry this up, or I can um, 
just make like a steak and gravy and it's four big steaks in there that I can kind of cut so I can cut these in half and this could be four meals if I were to cut these steaks in half and, and we'd all have one for dinner and there'd be one left over for a lunch there would be eight um, four meals there so if I'm looking at it from that perspective I get the meats when I can I was actually looking for a um, boneless skinless chicken breast hoping they would have a sale they did not but that is okay so we picked up paper plates, just needed standard paper plates for $1.89. The toilet paper was $2.99, buy one, get one free, so $1.50. The Lysol wipes, and I am a Lysol wipe person, and I try to stock up when I can. And I have a couple more coupons, and I'm going to go look in my change and see if I have any more change somewhere because I need to get these. They were 3 for 5 or $1.67. I have $0.50 cents off that doubled to a dollar, so these were $0.67 cents a piece. I picked up three because we can use three like coupons. This Simply Clear Water was $0.69. Cents. And then I'm going to also look to see if I can find some change because this Simply Ragu was $1.88. And I had a $0.75 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.50. So this was $0.38 cent a jar. This is stock up. So I was watching um, Amanda from The Fundamental Home. Her video on meal planning uh, for beginners and I'm not sure if it was I think it was part one but it might have been part two because I think two parts have already come out but she was talking about your shopping to stock your pantry and then you meal plan so this is kind of what she meant or kind of in my opinion these were 38 cent a jar I have about six more coupons that's only you know two dollars and fifty more cents I could have nine jars of sauce and then as I'm meal planning, I'm saying, hey, I have sauce. What can I make with sauce? Well, I can make pasta. I can make, um, I can throw some meat in it. I can, you know, if I'm hurting and really need to do chili, I could throw it in chili and then just use a taco packet or a chili seasoning packet. If I'm in a pinch, you know, what can I use with nine jars of sauce? And for us, we use about a half a jar to three quarters of a jar per meal. That really could be 18 meals for us, depending on what we're going to make. So I'm, I am seriously going to go through my change and see what I have and figure out how much more of this sauce I can buy as well as these lasso wipes. Um, I, I just had a hankering for some fried cabbage and this is Southern Coleslaw, $1.89. But today was the date that they needed to be sold by, so they were a dollar off, so they were 89 cents each. I was happy to get those. The next thing I got was these uh, diced green chilies. We use this because we usually do um, white chicken chili at least once a week, and they were 79 cents. That was on sale and a really good deal. This minced garlic was $2.59. Soy sauce was 99 cents. Coming back here, so the cheese Harris Tita brand this week was buy one get one free, three thirty nine for two of those. So I picked up four, two mozzarella, one white sharp, and then a Colby Jack because we do a lot of Mexican or Tex-Mex dishes. I picked up a bag of onions. Um, I don't mind chopping onions. Sometimes I just get them frozen, but these uh, were a dollar twenty nine, and I felt like I could chop them and use them more than just buying the bag this week so $1.29 then of course I did get the two meats one was three sixty two and one was three seventy four so again that could be four meals I can actually fry this up and throw a little ragu on top and then do pasta or I could dice this and uh, do like a meat sauce with uh, squash or something like that and then the best deal, well, kind of one another great deal was the Harris Teeter eggs were 77 cents each or 80 cents. So $3.20 for four dozen of eggs and we use a lot of eggs in our house. So that is what I got at Harris Teeter. So again, I went over by $7. My balance was $32.88. I had $3.75 in coupons. Double coupons was $3.75. Vic Savings was $31.97 for a total of $39.47 or 55% savings. So um, I used six of my 20 coupons for the day. I have 197 fuel points that I need to use by the end of the month and I will have to get gas one more time. I keep trying to use my fuel points but whenever I need gas I'm never by the Harris Teeter um, gas station. So I'm going to try to 
not lose those fuel points. For every 100 fuel points, it's 10 cents off a gallon. And I got um, 236 fuel points for this month. So I have just over 400. So I could get 40 cents off per gallon. And gas here is like $1.91. So I could get, potentially get gas for $1.50 a gallon. So I'm going to maximize that um, definitely the next time I go to get gas, which will probably probably be on Sunday because I've got a road trip that I have to go to. So um, that's how that's going to work out. The next store I went to was Aldi. Well, I actually went to Walmart first because it was closer, but I'll just show you Aldi. I picked up these cuties. They're three pounds for $1.99. I got those for Jackson. We picked up a spaghetti squash. Uh, they were 99 cents a pound and this was a pretty good one so that'll be a meal we could probably spread this out and make two meals uh, but I probably would do one meal with this I picked up a bag of zucchinis there's three small ones in there for $1.59 and then a bag of spinach for $1.19 and at Aldi I spent $10.98 the last store I shopped at was Walmart and I got cream cheese times four. If you get the two pack, it's $1.33. I got some ground ginger. This was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to pay. Should have got it at the Dollar Tree, but that would have been a fourth store. So it was $2.48. Then I got this Parmesan garlic wing sauce. And the only reason I got this is because I was looking for barbecue sauce because we have chicken and um, they didn't have that. So this was $1.98. They didn't have the sugar-free G. Hughes is what I'm saying. So this is $1.98. So I just picked that up because I've got some chicken wings I need to cook today. Picked up the no sugar added ketchup for $2.58. And then I picked up some of these Mega Sours. These are like water flavors for $3.48. And then we did also get, I got a um, 40 pack of water. So at Walmart, I spent $16.00 and 36 cents so I'm gonna roll you now into the meal plan okay you guys so here's my Kiriel meal planner and of course I just ripped off the grocery list and took it with me so this is kind of what I did this week was I wrote down the grocery list that the kids and I were thinking about then I was like okay I have a certain amount of dollars that I have to spend and I need to try to check a couple stores. I knew Aldi was going to be my better choice this week for like fresh produce and berries and stuff. And I really wanted to get some strawberries, but that was just not in the budget. So I had to leave it. But um, oops. online, I was able to find this um, ultimate Aldi grocery list. It was just a printable. So I went ahead and printed it. And then I highlighted everything that I felt like. Uh, that I had on my list so that I knew I was going to Aldi. Then on the back, I folded my page in half and then I knew I needed to go to Harris Teeter and then how much money I could spend and then going to Walmart and how much money I could spend. So here at Harris Teeter, I actually went over by like $8. It was $7 and some change. So that I knew that was going to subtract some money from somewhere else. But I ended up just taking it out of the gas money that I had. I have some cash for gas. So I ended up just pulling about $5 from that money um, so that I could get the majority of the things on my list. So now that I'm back from grocery shopping, kind of going back to what Amanda said and what you know a lot of frugal people, myself included, do, is now I back plan. I know what I have in my pantry because you do the inventory. I know what I just was able to get at the grocery store. And now I'm going to look and see what kind of meals I can put together. So I asked the kids before I left, like, what would you like to have? And Jackson asked for Mississippi roast. Alana asked for the lasagna. Alana asked for the cheeseburger soup. I suggested the baked spaghetti. And then this past week on Monday, I actually made a zucchini au gratin because I just had to use it up. One of the frugal strategies. And I had a lot of things in my um, fridge that were just about to go bad. Again, we've talked about not doing any food waste. So I had some spinach that needed to be used. I had some mushrooms that needed to be used. I had a pepper onion blend that needed to be used. And then I had some zucchini that were just about to be at the too far to use stage. So I just whipped up something and it actually ended up being pretty good and the kids just loved it. 
So they asked me, Alana asked me to make that again. So that may not be a main meal. That is actually really just going to be a side meal. And so we're good with that. So let me look now and go down my list. I was able to get my eggs, my cheese, my paper plates, toilet paper, paper towels, water. I did not get the bacon and I did get the onions. So that is pretty good. When I went to Walmart, I was able to get the cream cheese. I got the flavor packets. I got the ginger. Okay, so can we talk about the pork rinds for just one second, please? I usually get, I think they're called dippers, cracklings. And I have been to two Walmarts and they do not have those. And I am just in distress. So I did not get any pork rinds. They have the Max brand, but that is not the brand that I like. I like the pork cracklings. I think they're dippers, dipper style, dipper style, because they have a lot of that fat on them. And I do use them as nachos or whatever. So if anybody has those in your Walmart and the Lord lays it on your heart to send it to me, I'm not going to be mad. Because I cannot find them in my Walmart. And I'm going to keep looking. I almost went on Amazon just to see if they had them. I don't have the money to buy them right now. But I was going to go look for them on Amazon. So, anywho, you know, keto problems. But I like those. We did pick up the water. They did not have the barbecue sauce. So, I ended up getting the parm uh, garlic wing sauce. And then I did get the ketchup. So, then from... Aldi, I knew I was going to be where I could, you know, if I didn't get everything that I had on this Aldi list, it would totally be no problem. So I did have to make some concessions here. I did put down the sausage patties. I do like to get the ones at Aldi because they're nice in, in size and they're not as expensive as some of the other ones, even at Walmart. But again, I didn't have enough for that. So that's something I didn't get this week. Um, the apples were expensive. The berries, I just ran out of money. Uh, but I did get Jackson his oranges. I'm making some uh, chicken stock in the crock pot. So I knew that was going to be okay. Didn't get any diced tomatoes. Just kept it moving. I did get the cabbage at Harris Teeter. So I didn't get it there. Collie rice, no money for it. Um, I picked up the onions at Harris Teeter. Um, didn't get peppers this week. I really do need mushrooms, but I didn't get those either. I did get the spinach, the squash, and the zucchini. Then they had, I had written down bacon. I thought it might be a little bit cheaper at Aldi, which it was, but I still didn't have money for it, so I didn't get it. Then I get like the Halo Top kind of ice cream a little bit, some every now in a blue. No money, had to keep moving. So over here, I had the shredded cabbage because I wanted to do the cabbage and some cheesy sausage. But I got that at Harris Teeter and I didn't have any money for the cheesy sausage. So I know at Aldi, I can kind of just pick up here and there the things that I need and keep it moving. But for the most part, I pretty much got everything that I had on my list or that I was able to look on this list to be able to find. So now that I've done the grocery shopping, what I do now is I come to the meal plan and I really start setting up my meals. I have all the meals that the kids said they wanted for the week and then I know what I have in my fridge or freezer that I can make a meal. So today is the 16th, um, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 22. Okay, so this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Because remember, I plan Wednesday to Tuesday because I shop on Wednesday and then my sales end on Tuesday. So I'd rather you see my weekly meal plan because my grocery haul goes live on Thursday. So I shop here, goes live here, and then you'll know what we're having for the rest of the week. So tonight I have chicken wings out that I have to do. I already know that because we took them out last night. So normally tonight would be a Taekwondo night, but Jackson is sick, so no Taekwondo. Um, Thursday night is a Taekwondo night as well, but we're not going because Jackson is sick. But Friday we do have Taekwondo because it's belt testing. So we will go for that. He should be better by that. Saturday, I am out of town. Mom has to go to, um, I have a school meeting. Um, Sunday, we have church and Alana has youth group. Monday is a holiday, so no school. Martin Luther King. 
And then Tuesday is back to Taekwondo and we have black belt class. And I also sing on Tuesdays. So this will need to be a quick meal or a crock pot meal to put together. So, huh, let me think. Okay, we have chicken wings for tonight. I have some of that roast, the roast steaks. So I think I'm going to do, hmm, Alana asked for lasagna. I told her I would do that on Sunday. And I think we'll probably do some breadsticks with that. Okay, Monday is a holiday. I'm probably going to make, okay, I'm gonna do the cheeseburger soup and I'll do that in a crock pot on Friday. Saturday, it's gonna be leftovers because I'm sure there'll be some. And then, because my son will be here with the kids, he may make them something. And I'll just put here a pizza because the kids can make their own pizza. They are invited to go with me out of town, but they do not choose. So they are going to fend for themselves. Thursday, which is tomorrow night, I'm feeling kind of like some uh, Philly cheesesteaks. I do need to do the cabbage. Okay, I'm gonna do the Philly cheesesteaks on Monday because I'm home. And then I'll do egg roll in a bowl um, on Thursday. That way I can go ahead and use up that produce. So again, another one of those strategies for having less food waste is to use the things that are gonna go bad quickest. And because I did get that cabbage on a markdown, I'm gonna go ahead and do those uh, egg roll in a bowl tomorrow. And I have some uh, ground chicken in the um, freezer. And then because I'm gonna do the cheeseburger soup, I'll just go ahead and ground up all the brown up all the chicken. And then I will use half of this and half of that. And then Tuesday, I need a meal. I can do the baked spaghetti, which we'll, we'll use the spaghetti squash. And we also have meatballs. So we'll do baked spaghetti and meatballs. And so there it is. This looks like a, a winner winner chicken dinner for me. Chicken wings tonight, and I'll put some sides together with that. Egg roll in a bowl, cheeseburger soup, we'll do that in the crock pot. Leftovers or a keto pizza, because the kids can do that. Um, lasagna and breadsticks for Sunday. Philly cheesesteaks uh, for Monday. I I'm gonna say, or Mississippi roast, just depending, because Jackson did ask me for that. And then we'll do the baked spaghetti and meatballs on Tuesday night. So I think that's a pretty good uh, meal plan for us, especially because we're not having to go out as much this week because Jackson is trying to feel better. Mom is actually going to get the chicken wings done and then I'm going to bed because I don't feel well. And I do have this thing that I have to go to on Saturday, so I cannot be sick. So I'm going to bed now. I'm actually going to be off tomorrow because I wanna be here to make sure Jackson gets, um, you know, keep him out and get all of his treatments and things done. And so he and I will be convalescing as together to feel better. But anyway, that is how I did that. I hope that was helpful to someone back plan. Do your grocery shopping, shop to fill your pantry, and then plan your meals accordingly. And so that has been working for me for many, many years. Again, this is the plan. I do reserve the right to move some of these things around if we need to, but I think it's gonna work out for, for us this time. So anywho, thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel. We hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be, uh, be sure to give us a like and a share. That would help us out as, as well. And um, thank you so much for stopping by our channel. And we'll see you next grocery haul and meal plan. Bye now.